It's Devon Achan. That's how you pronounce H-A. it now. H A H A. Yeah, the H A. <laughs> no, it's Devon Achan. That's how you actually pronounce it now. For some odd reason, it's going around. Acha. Yeah. So it sounds, it sounds like Japanese or or Chinese. Acha. You know, just saying Acha. Acha. But Acha. Uh, if you get, you know, what's funny is. <clears throat> I had him in a, I actually have him in a few leagues and in a few of the leagues, he was actually on my bench. And unfortunately I actually had to start him in one league and I was just like, woke up and I'm like, what? No freaking way. And I'm like, dude, so the points are probably a little bit off. I mean, depending on your point settings or, you know, in the league, I the settings that I have, he had 60 points. But I think in most leagues, he probably would have like 53-ish, give or take, somewhere in there. In most PPR leagues anyways. But and I, so in our leagues, 60.3 points. He played 41% of snaps, 18 attempts, 203 yards, two touchdowns, um, four receptions, 30 yards, and... It, I, it was I messed up there. It's supposed to be another two touchdowns in there as well. So I mean, he had a <clears throat> four game touchdown, which is plain insane. I'm like, how does this happen against Denver? I mean, Denver sh- just pretty much woke up and shit to bed. I, I couldn't believe. It. I was like, what the hell? I actually looked. My like, seventy points was like, I blew my mind. I'm like, what the hell? But a lot of this had kind of factor into as um, Waddle wasn't there. He was out, so. They had to do something, you know, a chain, you know, I, he, he was a Texas I'd A&M. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, Achan was a Texas A&M guy from, from what I hear. I mean, he, um, he actually, you know, is one of the, he was actually one of the better running backs coming out of, you know, this draft as far as like decision-making, like quick responses and stuff like that. So his reaction time was a lot a lot quicker than a lot of these other guys was as well. And he made like six De- Denver guys like miss, miss him, which is, I was like, Oh, you know? So uh, yeah, I mean, we'll talk about a little bit more uh, about Devon Achan in our waivers too, as well. But I mean, I don't know. Does, does, you know, you know, with, I think it's what, uh, there's one guy supposed to be coming back from the IR, I believe. I can't remember his name offhand, but you know, they got Mustard and one of the other guys too. I think he's so it kind of plays a part of where, where, where does Devon Achan stand in the crew of running backs? Does, does, does that does that make does that make him Devon Achan? Devon Achan, <laughs> say it with me, Devon Achan. It it, it it almost it, sounds like an evil it, character from a Bruce Lee movie or something. <laughs> uh, no, I, right? No, I, I think I think Mostard's still the feature back and, until he inevitably gets hurt. I mean, that's, Mostard's always had the the speed and the and the ability to be a feature back. I mean, he was with San Francisco for a little bit, but the guy always gets hurt. So at some point, yeah, yeah, he he he'll probably and we called this. I mean, we we said you know when he when he was under a different name when he. Hey chain, hey chain. Uh, that that he was eventually going to be the feature back, probably you know middle to the end of the year. But you know it, it's common. Uh, most start, like I said, Jeff Wilson's out, so there, you know he's not in his way. Um, but probably you know probably won't be. He's not, not going to be putting up 200 yards rushing and and two touchdowns receiving every. You know he's not not yeah yeah that's just unrealistic. But um, because Waddle's going to come back, I think Waddle will be back uh, this week, but against the Bills. Uh, but yeah, it, it's good to know that he's capable of this, you know. So if he ever does become the feature back, you can you know, you, you can kind of count. Okay, well, I see what he's capable of uh, against a pathetic Denver team. So if they play another pathetic team, you know, they play the the Bears or something, uh, you know, he then I'm putting him in the starting lineup. Hell yeah, I'll start both. You know what? They played the Bears. I would start both of them. I'd start most start <laughs> and yeah, yeah. It's I mean yeah I mean. It's, <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, this does give us a little, you know, it's almost like a little teaser, you know, like, you know, it's like, hey, 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 you know, it's, it's not, it's not a bad thing either. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm sure with this game is going to drive his, you know, his roster percentage off the roof, but I mean, it, it, it all comes down to is, 
how, how much action? I mean, how much work is he going to get? You know, with you know Mustard being there, maybe Jeff Wilson coming back at all. You know, so I mean, if it <laughs> if it bumps him back down a little bit or not, you know, so it it all kind of you know. He's a nice complimentary complimentary guy to have on the bench in case somebody does get hurt, or especially in a deep, especially like in a deeper league too. Like I, you know, if you need him in a deeper league, yeah, I mean it's not going to hurt. I mean he might have it, he might have you a good not a hundred yards, maybe in 60, 70 some odd yards, maybe a touchdown up in there, especially if you're in a deeper league. But he won't repeat this again for sure. I mean, yeah, this is a one done kind of thing, but. All right, now on to our next duo 